welcome to this edition of the ASHA podcast. I'm Fred Wyant, Director of Communications with the American Sexual Health Association, or ASHA. So if someone were to mention to you the word contraception, what would probably come to mind? If you're like a lot of people, you might think about birth control. And that makes sense, right? I mean, for most of us, that's a priority at some point in our lives. And it's true that when used the right way, most types of contraception on the market these days work incredibly well in preventing pregnancy. There are even long-acting reversible contraception, known as LARC, which can last for years. And they would they give women and their partners just a, a, an especially effective and convenient means of birth control. And that's great. We just don't want to forget about the role of contraception in reducing the transmission of sexually transmitted infections, or STIs. And on that score, that's when condoms really take center stage. And we'll, we'll talk a little more about those latex wonders in just a bit. They come in other materials too, like polyurethane and polyisoprene. I have to mention that or else I'll get emails. But back to long-acting reversible contraception, LARCs. And there are a couple of types of birth control that fit that category. Um, implantable rods or implants, and as the name implies, these are thin plastic rods that a healthcare provider places just under the skin of the upper arm of a woman. The implant releases the hormone progestin, and that prevents pregnancy by thickening the cervical mucus, blocking sperm from reaching and fertilizing an egg. Uh, it also works by keeping the ovaries from releasing eggs. Another type is the intrauterine device, which we all pretty much know as the IUD. That's a small T-shaped device made of a flexible material that goes into the uterus, and IUDs prevent sperm from reaching and fertilizing an egg, and some of them also deliver a hormone that keeps the ovaries from releasing an egg. And boy, howdy, do these methods work really well. Both are about 99% effective in preventing pregnancy, and depending on the exact method used, they can stay in place and last for three, five, even up to 10 years. Um, it's amazing, right? Uh, they're, they're safe to use and um, can easily be removed if the woman wants to become pregnant, which is the reversible part. So pretty much a major win across the board as a birth control choice. Only condoms, though, offer protection against both pregnancy and STIs and used together uh, condoms add to the pregnancy protection of LARCs while adding a huge risk reduction against most common STIs. And so dual use, as it's come to be known, dual use of condoms and LARCs is an emerging and really important approach to contraception that offers a host of sexual health benefits across the lifespan. The condoms are great, right? They're available over the counter, they're easy to find, pretty easy to use, and you know, Studies say that both men and women report that when they use condoms, there's no real loss of pleasure uh, or the, and really no loss in ability to have an orgasm. So there you go. The payoff is still there. So all that's to say that dual use offers a lot of additional protection. And while that's true at most any age, dual use might be of special value to younger age groups where STIs are so incredibly common. About half of all new STIs in the U.S. each year occur in young people between the ages of 15 and 24. And, you know, as a footnote to that, there are probably about 20 million new STIs in the U.S. annually. So that means about 10 million new cases just in that age group from the mid-teens up to the mid-20s. So any approach that's effective there is uh, certainly welcome to public health. I think I'll call this episode No Glove, No Love. Or maybe don't be silly, wrap your willy. No, well, well, before you wrap anything and before I wrap up this podcast, visit us online at ashasexualhealth.org, ashasexualhealth.org, where our pages on condoms will give you the scoop. We have everything from videos on how to use condoms to talking points if you have a partner who might be a bit reluctant. We'll help you get them in shape and toe the line. So until next time, this is Fredo signing off. Thanks for listening to this podcast, and there will be more to come. So long, everybody.